welcome back to superstar glam today's video i wanted to share it's a pretty big haul and i know that i just recently posted a haul video but this is a birthday haul my birthday just passed it was the first week of um september so a lot of these products um i've ordered and I was waiting for them to arrive so I'm not going to make this any longer than it already will be so I'm just going to rapidly go through all the products that I hauled. Some of these items I was actually able to get from the VIB sale that Sephora was having. So I took advantage of that. Um, the first item is the Be A Light Light to Medium Face Palette. I have used it. I used it today. And I don't know how I feel about it as of yet. I picked up the Natasha Denona Mini Lila Palette. I've only swatched it. I haven't played with it. I thought it was the cutest thing, so I have no idea if the quality is the same as a regular shadow or if it's just a waste of money because it was condensed into a mini. I'm not sure. haven't played with it. I also got from Natasha Denona the Blush and Glow, and it's also, I don't know if this is a travel size. It doesn't say, but it was... A small little thingy so I think it's a, a highlight plus um, blush I have only swatched it so I have not used it or played with it since Natasha Denona is pretty expensive I felt like that was a good way of trying some products out without breaking the bank okay I wasn't gonna get this but the packaging and then I swatched it and I just fell in love with it and I said I had to have it. It's the uh, Kat Von D Alchemist Holographic Transformer and it looks like this. It just, it's too cute. It's a mini of like the highlight palette that I also have. It's just a beautiful shade I think it would make a really awesome like topper again I haven't played with it but I fell in love with it as soon as I swatched it I'm late I'm totally late on this item but I was watching um Thomas Halbert's video uh, I was watching his one of his videos where he I think he was reviewing the Morphe, Morphe and Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection and how he's, you know, he wasn't a fan of the those new shadows. But he did say that if he had to recommend any palette from the Morphe and Jaclyn, Jaclyn line, he would totally recommend the Jaclyn Hill palette, the original she came out with. Um, he says it was one of the best eyeshadow palette so when he said that I was like oh, I really have to go get it so I picked mine up and I have yet to play with it I have swatched a few of the shadows but I haven't done any looks with it I had to pick it up um, this little set I just did a and posted a review on my channel it's from the jcat beauty it's the fantasy dreamland uh, shadow but it comes in this little it came in this little like baggy and with the whole set I picked this up at Ulta and it came with the liquid liner the mascara the eyeshadow base and of course the eyeshadow palette if you want to know what I thought about this whole set the eyeshadow palette I will link my video up here so you can go check that out um, I did also pick up the Morphe and the Jaclyn Hill um, eyeshadow palette from the vault collection I picked up the armed and gorgeous palette this is the eyeshadow palette that I am currently wearing on my eyes 
that's the only eyeshadow palette that I that I picked up and um, so far it's performed really good so in my previous haul I mentioned that I picked up a few things from the collab between Dose of Colors and I Love Sarai and I said that I had not picked up the eyeshadow palette well I did I I just couldn't help myself I love the packaging and the colors as well and again this is another eyeshadow palette that I have yet to play with. I also picked up the another eyeshadow palette from Juvia's Place. This was at Ulta, so it's one of the newest um, palettes. But these colors, I'm so excited and can't wait to dip into this palette. It's the Af Af Afrique, Afrique, I think. I don't know but it's in this yellow packaging I picked up another foundation it's the Dior backstage the Dior backstage face and body foundation I have tried this I just don't think that I got my shade so I might exchange it for a lighter shade so I can't really say if I like it or not because so the color that I got it oxidizes and it kind of turns to orange on me I got a lot of lip products one is from wet n wild it's their mega last liquid katsu matte lipstick it's in the shade nudist peach super pretty shade I got three I think they're matte lipsticks from Makeup Revolution and they're all nudes. One is Expose, Wishful, and Inspiration. So far, I like the formula because I do like a mattifying lipstick and they're really comfortable on the lips. I also picked up one from ColourPop. I just, to be honest, I just really like the packaging it has um, little stars super cute it is their luxe lipstick in the shade Appy and such a pretty warm nude and also I love the stars are even on the actual lipstick super pretty so these next palettes that I picked up are again more collaborations but I'm actually a big fan of these ladies and I am super happy for the opportun opportunities that they got to collaborate with these makeup companies and I just wanted to show my support. I wasn't able to pick up the original, um, the first launch between Melissa, Michelle's and Ulta's collab, but I did pick up the second. So it looks like this. And this is who Melissa Michelle is. And this is what the palette looks like. I have yet to play with it also. And I actually can't wait to play with all of these shadows and shimmers. So I got that. And then I also got the, the Makeup Revolution, the Emily Edit palette the needs and the wants. I wasn't able to pick mine up from Ulta. They had sold out, so I was afraid that I wasn't gonna be able to get it. And so I went into the actual Makeup Revolution website and I picked these up. Um, this is the needs palette. And this is the wants. I also have a review video on these the Emily Edit and Makeup Revolution palettes. So I'll link it right here if you're interested to watch my video on that. Okay, so I picked up a, a lip liner from LA Girl. It's the Perfect Precision Lip Liner in the shade Sensational. And I got it because it's kind of like an, an orangey shade and I don't really have anything like this. So I picked that up. I picked up two um, 
nail polishes from Sally Hansen. It's the Hard as Nails Extreme Wear. One is in the shade White On and the other one is Day Cream. I picked up two setting sprays. One is from Catrice and the other one is from Milani. I've never tried these before so I don't know how I like them but this one is the Catrice is the Prime and Fine Multi-Talent Fixing Spray and the Milani is the Make It Last Setting Spray. I also picked up some gel toe separators. This is exciting. <laughs> it's from the Diamond Cosmetics. Oh, I also got a eye blender brush from Essence. I love these and they're super affordable and they're really good nice fluffy and soft I got a Catrice Prime and Fine Brightening eyeshadow base have yet to try it so this looks similar to one that I had previously hauled but it's not it's from elf it's the beauty shield antioxidant and rich skin protection line but this is um, it also has SPF 50, but this one is a skin shielding prime primer. So the one that I had previously hauled was the moisturizer, the SPF 50 moisturizer, and this is a primer. So again, I have not tried it, but I'm excited to try it. Anything with some protection, I'm all for it. Oh, I also got a it's the oh this was a limited edition from went wild it is their bronzer brush i also from from wet and wild i picked up a bronzer one of their limited edition bronzer this is in queensland but it arrived totally shattered broken so i i'm not even opening it because it's a mess in there we're, we're getting to the end um this is stuff that I picked up from Ulta. This is the Maybelline Soda Pop eyeshadow palette. I definitely wanted to try it out. It looks like so much fun with those pops of color. So I haven't even swatched it yet, but I do want to play with it. The next products are some skincare. I got this. It's the number seven line, the Radiant Results Nourishing Cleansing Balm. So it looks like this. I figured this is a dupe for the Clinique Cleansing Balm. It looks just like it. I have been using it and I actually really do like it. It works really good to melt away the makeup. It contains vitamins A and E and B5 plus grapeseed oil. But I like the fact that it was, I think it was like 10, 11 bucks for this big jug. So I think most likely I will be repurchasing it because I have been loving it. From the Neutrogena line, I, it's the Ageless Intense Intensives. It's the Anti-Wrinkle Deep wrinkle serum with retinol SA so again I haven't tried it so I can't say anything about it this is the anti-wrinkle deep wrinkle night moisturizer I picked this up because it was actually during the 21 days of whatever the cell is from Ulta anyways I've been wanting this highlighter for such a long time but it pained me to pay as much as they wanted and they happen to have it I think for like 16 bucks and it's in that beautiful new packaging that Ofra has it's the highlighter in Beverly Hills looks like this so pretty look at this packaging so sleek and white Okay, and then I picked this up because it was also on sale. It's from MAC. It is the Prep and Prime 24 Hour Extend Eye Base. And it's a whole set. It comes out, comes with an eyeshadow, which is in the shade Wedge, which is that cool tone brown. 
and then it comes with the eyeshadow base which I was really excited to try and I think this is a, a, a really good deal to actually get the infamous MAC 217 and their really good eyeshadow base so this is what the brush looks like and that came in a little set so that's a neat set the next items are a clothing haul from Shein I got this as a free gift for ordering from Shein I think it's like a measuring tape I get excited over free products I don't care if it's useless but I probably will use it anyway so they had a good sale going on I picked up a few things so I got workout gear but I'm not sure that this is going to fit me so these are the pants and they're I got them in the size large and I probably should have gotten a medium and it comes with the sports bra I like that the sports bra comes um, padded and I probably will wear it just the way it is I mean it's just workout gear so then I got this which was super cute and I think with whatever the sale was going on I got it for like cents like 63 cents or something like that but it's super cute I also got it in large it's okay though it's a romper and I got it in large because I it since it's a romper I didn't want it to like be all skimpy at the bottom so it is super cute it has a bunch of eyes nail polishes shoes perfume bottles lips it is so cute it's like this and then it comes with a satchel to tie around the waist adorable and then I can't get enough with fuzzy cozy sweaters so I pick this up again also I got it in large because I like my sweaters oversized so this is it's kind of like it's supposed to fit like a crop top sweater so it's like boxy I love the sleeves they're like super loose and I like that the sleeve has this cuff that is a little more fitting so that it'll, it'll actually stay in place um, I don't like how some of them are loose fitting and they kind of they hang so I really can't do much like my sleeve gets wet but I think it's super fuzzy super comfy totally see myself wearing this like on a daily um, the only bummer is that it doesn't have pockets I love things with pockets or sweaters with pockets so um, this doesn't come with it but it's okay and this is the last item it's another fuzzy little sweater and it looks more like a robe slash cardigan so it comes with this hood this is the hood part and it just it's very loose fitting yeah it's it just it just cascades down totally like a rope it's super furry and fuzzy and also um, the sleeves are kind of like what they call um, bat sleeves you see that and I also love the cuff area because this fits really really snug and in place so but this one does have pockets see so I'm excited to wear this as soon as it starts getting cold and probably not even just in the mornings when I take when I drop off kids from school just throw this on and that was it that was it that was all for my birthday haul 
I was really excited to share all of this with all of you. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I will see you next time. Bye.